Florida auto insurance prices are seriously out of control. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how much auto insurance is going up, who it's going up for, why it's going up, and what we did to save over $1,000 on our auto insurance. Now, before I get into it, I want y'all to know that I'm not an insurance agent and I'm not getting paid by an insurance company to make this video. And I know this isn't the typical type of video you see here on exportation, but anytime we have a chance to help some of our viewers save a little bit of money, we gotta do it. Now let's get into it. So some of you are probably asking, how much is auto insurance actually going up? And for many people out there, the answer to that question is a lot. According to insurify.com, the average auto insurance rate has already risen around 17% in 2023. And while Florida isn't the fastest rising state, it is in the top 10, with average insurance rates already rising by around 25% in 2023. Now, if you're like us, a 25% increase in your auto insurance rate already seems ridiculously high. But sadly, that's nothing compared to the rate hikes that we've seen, as well as many others in the Tampa Bay area. And we'll go further into that a little bit later. Now, the next statistic is one that's probably not gonna surprise any of you Floridians out there. And that is that Florida has the highest insurance rates of any state. According to bankrate.com, the average Floridian pays a whopping $3,183 for full coverage insurance on their automobile. And that's almost 60% higher than the national average, which is right around $2,000. And that leads to the question, why is auto insurance in Florida so high and why is it going even higher? So the general consensus on why Florida's auto insurance rates are so high seems to be for a few different reasons. Those reasons being uninsured motorist rate, population density, and natural disasters. Now, Florida doesn't actually lead the nation in any of these categories, but it is in the top 10 in all three. According to data from the Insurance Research Council and iii.org, Florida ranks number six in the nation for uninsured motorist rate, with a ridiculous 20.6% of motorists on the road not having insurance. Now, looking at population density, the U.S. Census Bureau reported Florida's population density at 401.4 people per square mile in 2020. And when you consider the influx of people into Florida over the last few years, it wouldn't surprise me if Florida ranks a few spots higher in 2023. Now, when it comes to natural disasters, it's probably going to come as a surprise to no one that Florida ranks towards the top of the 50 states. According to WalletHub.com, Florida actually ranks number four, trailing only Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. And what do those four states have in common? They're all located on the Gulf Coast and are highly susceptible to hurricanes and all of the flood and wind damage that comes with them. So when you consider those three factors, it's not a big surprise that Florida tops the list when it comes to auto insurance. But why is auto insurance in Florida going up so much more in 2023? Well, there's likely a few reasons for that as well. And the first of those reasons is accident severity and frequency. Now, as you may expect, the number of drivers on the road declined significantly during the onset of the pandemic in 2020, and those numbers have taken a while to recover. But with so many people returning to the office, the number of people on the roads has increased significantly over the last couple of years. And when you take into account Florida's recent population boom, the number of drivers on Florida's roads has increased even more. And with more traffic, you're naturally gonna have more accidents. And when you add the ever-increasing amount of distracted drivers to the equation, driving in parts of Florida has become a bit of a risky endeavor. Now let's talk about accident severity. Is the average physical damage from an accident in Florida actually getting worse? I doubt it. But the cost of the average auto insurance claim sure has, and much of that is due to injuries. According to data from Thompson Reuters reported on iii.org, the average median personal injury reward was only around $33,000 in 2010, but that amount increased all the way to around $125,000 in 2020. Now, if you've noticed the number of car crash lawyer billboards lining the freeways here in Florida, that trend probably doesn't surprise you, and sadly, there's no sign of it reversing course. Another reason for rising insurance claims amounts is inflation. And as we all know, the cost of pretty much everything has gone up over the last few years, and auto parts are no exception. In fact, the June of 2023 Consumer Price Index reported that the cost of auto repairs has risen by an average of 20% in the last year, which is another ridiculous statistic. Now, another big factor in rising auto insurance rates, which does affect Florida more than most, is the increasing amount of natural disasters. As mentioned earlier, Florida and the other Gulf Coast states do tend to be the most susceptible to major natural disasters, 
and that certainly was the case in 2022 when Ian hit. According to WPTV.com, Hurricane Ian caused over $112 billion in damage, making it the most costly hurricane in Florida history. Furthermore, Carfax.com reports that more than 350,000 vehicles were damaged by Ian. And while we have looked out on hurricanes so far here in 2023, there isn't much debating that the trend does seem to be that hurricanes continue to get larger and more intense, which unfortunately likely will continue to play a major role in auto insurance insurance rates increasing into the future. Now that we've covered why Florida auto insurance rates are rising, let's get back to how much they're rising. And as I mentioned previously, the average auto insurance rate here in Florida has already risen by around 25% in 2023, but that's actually nothing compared to the recent rate increase in our auto insurance renewal. So for a little background, I'm a bit of a penny pincher and I absolutely hate spending more money than I have to on anything. And for that reason, we do generally own older, less valuable vehicles because they do tend to be quite a bit less expensive to insure. We currently own and insure two vehicles that are 2005 and 2007 model years. And in 2022, the combined rate that we paid for annual full coverage insurance on those two vehicles was $2,106. But like so many other Florida residents, we were a bit shocked when we recently received our renewal notice that stated that our auto insurance premium would be going up by more than 65% to $3,488 per year. Now keep in mind, Jamie and I have now lived in Florida for 10 years, and during those 10 years, we haven't had a ticket of any kind, and it's been around eight years since we even had an auto insurance claim. And that's why it came as such a big surprise when we saw that huge increase in our insurance rates, and of course, that came with no explanation whatsoever from our insurance broker or provider. Not so coincidentally, we recently saw a post on the I Love St. Pete Facebook group regarding pretty much this exact same situation. On that post, several of the members were reporting increases in their auto insurance rates of 30%, 50%, or even 100% and above with no accidents. For example, one person said that the insurance on their car went up from $265 to $550 with no accidents. And another person said that the rate on their motorcycle insurance increased from $375 to $900 per year. So comparatively, our 65% rate increase actually didn't look that bad, but we still weren't just going to give in and pay it. So first I did a little research. I did some Google search and read some message boards about which auto insurance companies tend to offer the lowest rates here in Florida. And while the results were pretty much all over the place, the ones that I was seeing the most consistently were Progressive, Geico, and State Farm. Next, I reached out to our insurance broker who did happily agree to run quotes with other carriers, but also didn't seem to be very confident that they'd actually find us a lower rate, and they were right. But during that process, I actually learned that Geico doesn't even sell their insurance through independent brokerages or agents and to get insurance from Geico you either have to go to them directly or deal with one of their exclusive local agents. So we contacted our local Geico insurance agent and provided them with all of our information and our current insurance policy limits and asked them to run us a quote on basically the exact same policy. Now I gotta admit that my hopes weren't too high but I actually was really happy when they came back with a rate of $2,408 per year for both of our vehicles. Now that rate is still higher than what we paid last year, but it's over 30% and $1,000 less expensive than the renewal rate that was given to us by our current insurance provider. We also learned that Geico has some sort of program that actually tracks your driving habits, and supposedly if you drive well, your rate can actually go down quite a bit your second year. Now, as I record this video, we still haven't signed on with Geico, just in case we can still find a better deal out there. So if any of you Floridians out there have a great auto insurance rate and provider that you'd be happy to recommend, please do share it in the comments. And if you're like us or so many other Floridians who've seen a huge spike in their auto insurance renewal rate, please be sure to share that in the comments as well. So while the rise of auto insurance rates, especially here in Florida, is quite discouraging, we're really hopeful that the information that I've shared in this video, and maybe also the information that some of you share in the comments, can at least help some people save a little bit of money. Now, as I mentioned earlier, my wife Jamie and I have now been Florida residents for over 10 years, and we've seen quite a few changes, especially over the last two or three. 
So if you're at all interested in that, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we will be posting a video talking all about our experience living in Florida for 10 years in the very near future. And in that video, we'll also be sure to mention what auto insurance company we ended up going with and what the overall rate and savings was. Until then, if you'd like to hear about our experience from our first eight years of living in Florida, be sure to click on this video next. Thanks for watching.